Hi everyone, this is Jeanette from Jewelry by Jeanette, and thank you for joining me today. I am the owner, designer, and creator of unique, one-of-a-kind jewelry, as well as kits that you can find in my Etsy shop called Jeanette's Crafty Place. I will put all that information in the description box below the video. So today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute, really easy snowman earrings using my November kit called Crystal Snowman Earrings. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I post a video. Now you will probably notice that something has happened to one of our little snowmen here. And that is because I'm gonna be really honest with you here. I have been trying to make this video since this past Saturday and it is now Tuesday. I have been having so much trouble. Things have been going wrong, you name it, it went wrong. And I just was not in the right frame of mind. I had to pull myself together and give myself a little time and take a little break. So I actually made both earrings off camera and I decided that instead of you watching me make both of these all over again, I would make one of them because they are exactly or almost exactly the same. Nothing is ever exact when it comes to jewelry. So keep that in mind. You do not have to make exactly what I make. You do not have to make these into earrings. In fact, these would make really cute pendants or zipper pulls, keychains, wine charms, wine glass charms, um, package toppers. You might want to add, you know, slip a ribbon through one of them or both of them and put them on a package. There are really lots of things that you can do. And if you think of any other ideas, why don't you just put a comment below the video and let us know maybe what you would like to use these for with the holidays coming up. Oh, they make great stocking stuffers and gifts as well. All right, so let's get started. You will receive in the kit everything that you see here, all the components to make both earrings. In fact, I'll probably add an extra head pin because if you're like me, especially this week, we all make mistakes. So I like to give you an extra component or two whenever I think it, it might be wise to do so. In the kit, you will receive two larger round crystal beads. Let me just get a ruler here and I will measure those beads for you in millimeters. Make sure I'm in the camera here. So these look like they are, I would say about eight millimeters. <clears throat> Excuse me. So eight millimeter round crystal beads. You'll get two five millimeter round crystal beads. You will get two crystal rondelles. I will hold this up for you so that I don't know if you can, oops, I don't know if you can see the sparkle on these, but they really do sparkle beautifully. And those are, I would say these are about five millimeters as well, maybe slightly bigger. You will also get two gunmetal rondelles, which are 
approximately maybe four and a half millimeters. And you will get two cube, black cube beads, which are about four millimeters. And you will get, as I said, the head pins and the ear wires. These are sterling silver ear wires, by the way. You will not get the tools that you will need, but they're, they're the three musketeers, I call them, because I use these for almost every single project that I make. A nice pair of cutters. These are flush cutters. You'll see that if we look at the back, they come to a flat or flush edge. You will need round nose pliers and you will need chain nose or flat nose pliers. I prefer the chain nose with the pointed tip because they let me get into smaller spaces. So the first thing that we are going to do is take our head pin and it's called a head pin for the beginners who've never done this before and have never seen a head pin before. They're called head pins because they have a little head on the end of them that keep your beads from falling off. They look like straight pins, but they don't have a really pointed edge. The edge is rather flat and blunt. So I'm going to thread on these beads in the same order that you see them in this earring here. So I start with the eight millimeter. I think I said they were eight millimeter crystal. And then the crystal rondelle. And then the five millimeter crystal. So we've got his body, his scarf, and his head. Now we need his hat. So we're taking the gunmetal rondelle and the cube. And there we have our matching snowman. So he looks almost exactly like the other one there. And now what I'm going to show you is how to make a wrapped loop. Now I find wrapped loops easier to make than what they term simple loops. I don't find simple loops so simple, but I find wrapped loops very easy to make. So I'm going to show you step by step and I will go slowly. And just remember that you can always back up this video, rewind it and watch over and over again until you get the hang of it. All of this, everything I'm showing you, even though it's pretty simple, it's simple if you know how to do it and if you've had some practice. I've made some real clunkers in my time and I still, I still make them. I was still messing up uh, all week so far. So give yourself some grace, be patient with yourself and practice. Buy a package of inexpensive head pins and just keep trying, keep practicing. Okay, so a little change of plans. I told you things were going haywire for me this week, but I'm determined to actually do this. So you may notice that my other snowman has been taken apart and I have replaced the head pins with some ball end head pins. They're a little more decorative, a little fancier, and they're also a narrower gauge, which will make our wrapping easier. I was really struggling with the other head pins because they're a thicker gauge and they're just not that good when you want to make wrapped loops. So sometimes we do have to alter what we're doing even halfway through the project 
it happens. It happens to all of us. So anyway, here we go. I am going to thread on my larger round crystal, the eight millimeter, the rondel, the five millimeter crystal, and I'm very sorry if I'm off the camera here. There you go. The gunmetal rondelle. And the cube. There's my little snowman. And I will show you how to make a wrapped loop now. And I'll make the other snowman too. So you get to see this twice. I am going to start by using my chain nose pliers. I'm going to grab my snowman right above the top bead. And I don't want to twist my wrist and, and make the pliers do the work. I want to make the head, the head pin do the work because if I try to twist these pliers, I run the risk of cracking that bead. I've done it in the past. It's not fun. So what I'm going to do is I am holding the pliers in this direction and I'm going to take either my thumb or my pointer finger and I'm just going to push that head pin away from me. So now I've created a 90 degree angle. I'm going to take the chain nose pliers out and I'm going to replace them with my round nose pliers, which you will notice are tapered. At the top, they are much more narrow than they are at the bottom. And the further down you place your pliers and your head pin in your pliers, the larger the loop is going to be. So I want fairly a fairly small loop. So I'm going to come down maybe about this far. And a lot of people find it helpful to just put a little Sharpie mark there so that you um, know where to place your pliers the next time for the matching earring. So here we go. I have my round nose pliers. I am pulling up and over. I am rotating my pliers, so now the bottom jaw is on top, and I am wrapping that head pin around those pliers. Can you see how I have wrapped them around the pliers? And now I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to hold, and I'm, you know, I'm not letting go. Go very slowly, keep a good grip on them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and hold on to this tail and wrap this tail around the head pin. I like to make three wraps. I might be able to get a fourth, but I, again, I don't want to risk cracking that bead. I'm going to take it off my pliers. You'll see that I've got a little tail sticking out. That's when I come in with my cutters and I clip this off very carefully. You want to cover it with your finger you do not want to let this little piece of metal go flying because it might hit your eye or someone else's. And you know what? That looks pretty good. Sometimes, yeah, see it sticks out just a little. I'm just coming in here and pressing that little tail in gently. And now is the time if you see that your loop has gone a little crooked. You can straighten it out a little bit with your pliers so that it's nice and straight. Isn't it cute? There's our first snowman. 
to put him on the earring hook to make an earring out of him. I'm going to, let me hold this up closely. These hooks have a loop and you'll see there's a little split where it opens. And I'm going to take my pliers, my chain nose, and I'm going to gently twist away from me. You do not want to pull that loop open. I've seen people put their pliers in here and spread the loop out. Not a good idea. You will distort that loop and you will never get it round again. So I'll show you again when we make the other earring. I'm gonna take that loop that we made on the snowman and just slip it onto the hook, come back with my chain nose pliers and holding it firmly but gently, twist the loop closed. And you wanna make sure that that loop is really closed because if not, you will you lose your snowman. <clears throat> Let's make the other one now, doing the exact same thing that we did. You'll notice, I think, that this head pin uh, looks a little deformed there. It's bent. Don't worry about it. You can straighten it out with your fingers pretty easily. Don't worry if it's not perfectly straight, because when we put the beads on, everything will get straightened out. So I'm going to go a little faster with this one. I'm threading on my beads in the same order as I did before. And you always want to check before you make the loop, make sure that everything is in the correct order. And there we go, they are. Taking my chain nose, coming just to the top of the cube bead there, pushing the head pin away from me, making a 90 degree bend, coming in with my round nose pliers, placing that bend on the bottom jaw in approximately the same place on the pliers as the other was, pushing forward and wrapping around the top jaw, rotating my pliers. So now the bottom jaw is on the top. I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to take this tail here and I'm going to pull it across and I'm going to grab the tail with my chain nose pliers and give three wraps. Now I like to make the same number of wraps on each earring. Sorry, I can't see it, so I have to turn it a little. One, two, and there is the third one. And don't worry if things are getting a little twisted, that's okay. But I like to make the same number of wraps just for uniformity. It looks, it, it looks better, it looks more professional. Okay, now that's a little sorry looking, but we're gonna fix that. First, I wanna get rid of this tail and I'm going to clip it off close to the bead. Again, being very careful not to chip the bead and also to cover that tail with my thumb. Looks good. I'll just tuck that just a little bit, very gently. Remember you want smooth, small, gentle movements. And let me straighten this out because it really wants to travel on me here. Okay, looking pretty good. He looks pretty good. I'm going to attach the ear wire now by gently twisting the loop open away from me, placing the snowman on the loop and gently closing the loop with my chain nose pliers. 
Sometimes I rock it back and forth a couple of times. Make sure that's closed. And there we have it. Two matching, really cute snowman earrings. Once you get the hang of this, you'll see that these are so easy to make. Even though I was getting really frustrated this week making them, um, they really are easy to make. So you can find the kits to make these earrings in my Etsy shop, Jeanette's Crafty Place. I will leave information in the box below the video. And you can use your own beads. You don't need the kit. But I do appreciate your support. I really do. And to show my appreciation to all my wonderful customers, for this particular kit, I am offering free shipping. So um, it's, there is a limited number of kits available. And when they are gone, they're gone. I usually do not re release my kits so they're probably going to sell out quickly thank you for joining me today i had a good time making these i finally had a good time um but you know there there is a lesson in that and the lesson is just take a break take a breather if you're getting frustrated this shouldn't be a frustrating process it should be fun and when it becomes frustrating that's when you know it's just time to step away for a little while I will see you next time have a great day and make something creative take care bye now